Hello and welcome to the USF 2000 at Lime Rock Park. No chicanes today. We're doing the uh, chicane uh, version. The chicane list version is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and uh, it seems like a, a, a good fit for these cars on first glance. And uh, I still think it is. But there's a couple of pretty awkward spots on this track, to be honest. And uh, I'll kind of talk through those here. Uh, in the qualifying lap, if I can get a moment to breathe when the time comes. Um, I think one of the, the biggest thing is coming up over here, once you kind of lift off for this turn, you go off this hill and you basically do a ramp off of it if you're going fast enough, which is kind of crazy. So the car not only gets really light right there, like I feel like you can actually probably get off the <laughs> get off the ground if you're, hitting, if you're going fast enough. It sure feels like it anyway, so that's pretty interesting. Um, other than that, pretty fun, fast-paced uh, course here. Do my lap, hopefully hit my marks. Lift off through here, even more than you think you need to, so you can get, in, get into position and get through this part. I didn't do too well there, but uh, also the tires are still warming up. Seems like you gain a whole bunch of time as the tires warm up. Oof. And, uh, so you want to be ready for that. I haven't gotten that turn quite down yet. I know I can go faster, but it seems like sometimes when I try to go faster, then I end up uh, going off the side pretty much. So it's a, it's a tough balance right there to get. So I know I probably am losing time through that section. So at least we got a lap in, so if we make a mistake this uh, this time around, we'll have our uh, our lap down, this somewhat solid lap down. Is uh, well, road racing? It's hard to pass, so uh, I didn't uh, get through there very well again. I think I wasn't patient enough through the first half of that corner to get the uh, angle on the next part. Kind of weird having to lift through this part as well. Uh, before you go off the jump, because <laughs> uh, every car I'm used to driving here, Formula V, Mazda, all that stuff, you don't need to lift through that corner. So these are going a little faster. So you do need to lift off. So that was only a tiny bit better, that lap was, I think. Uh, so we got 395, 260. So not that great. A little bit of an improvement. And, uh, well, we're in front of a handful of people. We are the number two, unfortunately. We've got about, like, 30-something people signed up, I think. So. This isn't the most crazy popular series, but you get a nice handful, seems like. It's not the, uh, 200-something people signed up that I had in the Rookie Mazda race I just did. I don't record those races anymore, but that was at, uh, Jefferson Circuit, which is interesting of uh, Summit Point. That was good fun. I still like uh, racing those races. But uh, no point in recording them since well they only go to the a couple, like a handful of places over and over again so I would just end up going to the same places repeatedly and that's just gonna fill my channel with the same stuff over and over which uh, probably would get a little stale. So I just do those for fun now. But USF 2000, this is all new stuff to me, so now I gotta be yapping <laughs> while I'm driving. But when I hit this jump, I, you know, jump, quote unquote. Oh. Yeah, I got through there pretty well at that time. Um, I lift off the gas a little bit, because when you land, you can get a little unsettled for a second. If you're, you know, full throttling it and you hit the ground and your tires spin just a little bit, like, you probably don't want to have your wheel turned when you land. It's a bit tricky. We'll say. But this thing starts going a lot uh, faster. It starts feeling a lot better once you start uh, getting the tires warm. You can really sling it through here a little bit better. I mean, if you're faster than me, you probably can sling it a little bit better. <laughs> For me, it's more like, you know, just uh, making my way through. Probably going to be like a mid-pack finish or something, so long as I uh, don't crash myself. I don't know, maybe I can 
get a couple spots if people are uh, crashing in front of me. Who knows? Fuel amount. You can't adjust the fuel amount. Can you? No, you can't adjust the fuel amount. What are you talking about? This fixed, fixed race. Yeah. That concerns me. That someone's apparently not very prepared. They don't even know that it's a fixed race. P six. <laughs> well, they're, they got a good time, so they must know something. Interesting. It's uh, looks like we got to go a little sooner than expected. Hopefully everyone was ready. We'll do our rolling start. Always kind of weird on in road racing the way people handle this stuff. Uh, All time best. Get fast repair ready if we unfortunately need it. I want to bump that up just a tiny bit actually. I also moved my front pressure. Uh, brake bias. Move that down a little bit. It's like default 56. I got it 52 or something. Just because this thing likes to lock up the tires, so I've been getting in the habit of doing that. And uh, making sure that I don't take it too far because it can get unsettled if you start dialing it back too far. I think we're pretty good. My biggest concern right now is, well, as usual. Sorry, I might have been quiet. I'm sorry. Uh, as usual, the first. Uh, couple corners, first lap or two, are usually pretty scary in road racing. That's not anything unique. But, um, the tires as well. I'm a little concerned on uh, driving on these cold tires because it can get kind of tight in the corners. You know, it takes you, you have to slow down a little bit more to get through. And it also can get a little bit extra snappy if you start moving left and right real quickly. Kind of through the, uh, not this first corner here. But once you start making your way past uh, past there, through those quick left yeah, rights, if you start Fahrenheit. throwing the wheel left and right too quickly, it can get a little unsettled, I've noticed. So hopefully uh, I'll end up in Logan trouble because right of that. Column. I'll have it in mind. Try to avoid it. I do notice it looks like we are on a uh, potentially European server or something. Uh, judging by the yellowish L bar over there. I don't think that should be much of an issue, it just means that potentially we could cause more prediction code slash net code slash whatever you want to call it issues if we're racing really close with someone at high speed, so just have to be aware. Maybe give just a touch a little bit more room than we would already. If we can, if we think about it. Warm other tires. Guy behind me trying to run in the back of me. I swear, pacing is so scary <laughs> in series like this because guys are doing all kinds of crazy things. <laughs> all around you in every direction. You're swerving left and right. They're like gassing it up fast and then slamming their brakes because they want to warm their brakes up and all that. Like, look how close he is getting behind me. Like, Jesus, get off me, man. <sighs> like, what if I have to brake suddenly? You're going to be right up my butt. I want that. See? Exactly. Come on, man. Get ready. Going green. Okay, well, we got a 4X before the racing started, and he's still doing it. He's still coming at me. Like, he's learned nothing. Okay, Focus. God. What are we doing? This is... I'm about to protest people for doing this. That is not how you start a race. That's garbage. Keep You maintain pace speed. You don't just slow down. Oh my god. These guys are freaking menaces. Diving in, man. Clear on the right. Incident in Big Bend. Looks like I just want to live. Right. Please don't hurt me. Clear on the right. Oh Jesus! I wonder if we have damage from the guy running into the back of us on grid. Holy smokes! Right. They're slowing down hard. Clear on the right. I did not expect right. that. Clear on the right. Car right. Oh, I'm scared. Right. There's people flying in, man, without a regard. Anyone's safety. Okay, that guy's gone. You know what? We're not doing this. We got a second behind us. 
I need a moment here. P8. That was scary. Is that the guy that... Who was that guy? I don't remember who that guy was. Oh, asking if he had fuel. So he's already crashed. Was he the guy that ran in the back of me? I think he might have been, because he was two spots behind me, so he would have been right behind me. So, not only does he not know... I need to pay attention. Um, not only does he not know it's a fixed race series where you can't even change the fuel, and he was not prepared, but he's just going to run into the back of me on the grid. So, way to come in prepared the right mindset. Like, come on, man. So, I need to get focused too, though, because I missed my uh, brake marker a couple times here already, so I need to get into the racing this frame of mind. Lost so many spots from guys just absolutely charging at the beginning. No patience. I'm less good whenever these tires are uh, still kind of cold anyway. Once they start warming up and uh, fuel burns off a little bit, I feel a little more comfortable. Eighth place. That's the fastest lap. That was a uh, 49.1. And again, stuck a little bit. These guys are fighting. Gotta choose my spots and not try to pass them at the wrong times. New fastest lap for Bailey, forty-eight point seven. Car on your left. Still there. Clear. Well done, Colton. Good pass. Eyes front. That's it. Woo, got a little unsettled. Careful. Still not not good at all at that corner either. Alright, starting to feel a little better though. Having some fun now. And actually drive the thing a little bit. I've always been kind of that way where uh Don't be pressured. Keep your exit speeds up, E7. I do better once the tires are warmer. Like I'm never good at starts. I've never been good at starts. I'm not aggressive enough. And uh not very good at still getting the speed out of a car that's got cold tires and it's a little tighter. I think even on oval side I can say that, you know, I'm better at racing a car that's uh, looser rather than tighter. I mean, obviously loose is fast, but what I mean is some guys, you know, guys can be successful still if the car's tight. They can figure out how to make it go fast and do the best with it, and I'm just not very good at managing a car that's tight. got ten minutes left. Ten minutes to go. Something I could improve on, so. I guess it's all about just backing it down a little bit extra and. Your last lap time was at 49.1. Oh, that guy's off. I wonder if he was looking in his mirror. There's an incident in. Probably not, that's probably just missed, a, like it's missed the marker or something. Uh, starting to go now. Feeling pretty good. I can try to hit some laps. Try to sell this. All these spots I lost. Lost a nice handful. Lift off a little bit so I don't ramp off and explode. Oh, took that okay. Alright, let's see if we can catch this guy ahead. Oh, we got. What is. A lap car coming out of the pits? 
that's not what I want to see. Kind of got sideways a little bit there. I think I came in a little too hot. This guy's way off pace. I hope we catch him at a good spot. Boy. Right side. Oh. Clear on the right. <laughs> Cut the track. Keep it nice and tidy. Had to keep it to the left, but I got the grass a little bit. All right, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine, everyone. We're fine. We got six X, four of them because someone doesn't know how to pace, but you know, two of them because of me. I'll accept that. You appear to be catching the fella in front of us. That's good news. Ooh, I kind of felt the wheel do a weird thing there. What I was telling you, turning left and right. Maybe uh, that's not even a cold tire thing. Maybe that's just something you can't do with this car in general. Cause that didn't. That was kind of scary feeling. Ooh, <laughs> going off that ramp too. Maybe it's affecting the car more too because because uh, the car's getting lighter. Maybe. Burning that fuel off. We're halfway home. Fuel looks okay. So can we uh, catch this dude? Your lap time was at Get ourselves a top five. That'd be nice. Okay. Sector two is 0.3 off the pace. Sector three is two tenths off the pace. The gap in front is now 1.4 seconds. Trying to be able to make decent laps. I think uh, it looks like a, a decent lap is gaining us a fair bit on this guy each lap. Go. Man, it feels like I underdrive that so much, but whenever I uh, try to drive a little harder, I always end up uh, messing up that corner. It's one of those corners where the the real talented fast guys can get through there so fast. But for now I have to go in a little slower, I'm gonna mess it up. Hey, feels good? Yeah, so I just I'm so much more comfortable whenever the tires heat up and everything. Much better now. Oh, this this thing at the end of that hill, though. That's really nervous time. Try to push a little bit more there. That was that was bad. Hearing there's an accident, but I think it's probably behind us. That was a forty-eight point six. You're a tenth off the pace in sector two. And we catch him. I mean, we kind of caught him already, to be honest. But uh, got to pass him too, and that's a whole other thing entirely. He's a little squirrely. Almost looked like he got his left sides off in the grass there. That could have been bad for him. There's an incident in Big Bend. Looks like it's not quite there yet. Right, not gonna Colton, dive it in or anything. Here. Let's make sure we can take him. That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. Wait, five minutes to go. Minutes. We don't have too much time left. I hope I can get by him. Definitely feel like I'm faster. Oh shoot! They're really slow through there. Holy Six cow! Place. What are we doing? I was like completely off the gas and I was still catching up to him. Wow, they're just uh, keeping it fl full throttled there and uh, kind of hoping it doesn't kill him, I think. So that's how crazy it got on him. I guess five minutes is a lot of time when you've got 48 second laps, though.
Oh, what's he doing? It's like super wet. Let's go. Push now. We can catch up there. Still there. Clear all Ugh. Way. Tried to get by him. Didn't work. It's really slow through that section, though. Only I knew how to pass or enter a corner because I totally messed up the entry of that corner too. Messed up that corner. I'm not having a very good time right now. How much tire wear is a thing? I noticed that it was already uh, down a percent or two after qualifying. Not sure. It's, I'm sure it's not a huge deal, but it might affect it a little bit. Mm, he really flew through there. Last lap was a 49.0. Fighting, I'm trying to get there. Close, and we got this lap car coming up. This could be interesting. Breaking for us, yes. Very kind of you. That was a good way to do it. Thank you, 13. Maybe thank you even if it made me miss my shift. <laughs> I gotta, gotta appreciate it when it happens, because it doesn't happen very often. Of course, if I were good, I could actually... Oh, you know, this corner. Not see that coming. Where'd he go? He go off? He went off! Oh no! Well, he opened the door, so I walked through the door, but then the door exploded, I guess. He went off the side. Well, hey! As long as I can avoid doing that my own, maybe we got ourselves a top five. And who knows? They seem to be battling up ahead, too. They could run into each other. A couple of the guys. Uh, number 14 there. It's like quite caught up, but they're fighting for second and third. I don't know where the leader is. You're in Long gone, seems like, but... Who knows? Lap cars are out here, too. Could be causing havoc. We'll uh, take it a little easier, then. No need to push it so hard. Got 3.9 seconds behind us and probably only a couple laps to go. We won't push any envelopes any farther than we need to mail this letter. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying, so if you do, let me know. <laughs> it's good news to me. Most of the time when I'm talking here, as we get the white flag, most of, my, most of the time when I talk and I'm racing, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's kind of just flowing out. Because, uh, 98% of my brain has to be focusing on driving, so, you know, what I say is kind of just a, <laughs> just a byproduct. So, <laughs> that's a thing, too. Anybody want to crash into each other trying to pass on the last lap? If so, please be sure to do so soon. And if not, that's fine, too. Because top five is... Perfectly good with me. Whether I'm the two car or not. It got really scary at the start, so. I'm glad we survived it. Looks like P1 has gone off in Big Bend. Good win, number one. You got a slow car on the it right. Like car stopped on the right. P5. And there's the finish. Congratulate the winner. Right. Come across the line. Great job. You did really well. And we got our top five.
Yeah, in case people wanted to do a couple of more uh, corners or whatever. But all right, we moved up one spot from where we started, so maybe the uh, maybe the start wasn't that bad at all. If you look at it in that way, you know we uh, let a couple guys get by us on the start, but we also didn't crash. So take the six six X, but I mean, legitimately, only two of them were from me. So that's uh, that's a thing. I'm not sure how we even hit each other hard enough on the. <laughs> on the pace laps to cause contact, but let me take a look at it. It was uh, in the end here. At the pace lap. Wait a minute. That's not correct at all. <laughs> Sorry. Looking for lap zero. There we are. Oh, my brain's not working or something. Okay, so this guy running into the back of us for no reason. Yep, it is the guy that uh, didn't even bother to find out if it was a fixed or open race. Instead of doing research himself about potential fuel, which you can't even change, he decides to ask people when he gets into the session. And what that tells me is he probably didn't practice at all. So, don't be this guy. Like, there's no excuse for that. Pay attention. Like, what are you doing? Use both eyes when you're driving. Keep them eyelids open. Oh, there's a guy getting uh, upset over the, uh, the jump. Glad it didn't happen to us. It's very possible. It's uh, camera a little bit better. We're at more of this angle. So that stinks for that person. Wonder if we'll see any more of those before these incidents are over. Car's not turning. No grip with those cold tires. And here's uh, our buddy. Shoot, doesn't matter how much fuel you put in it if you can't finish the first lap. It's a little bit of an off track. No big deal. One. Number nine kind of pitched it into the corner a little there. It's a couple of bad angles, looks like. Going to some of the corners. Yep. Excuse me. Apparently lots of trouble in this corner. Lots of off tracks and things going on there. Oh, man. So this might be what he's saying, uh... They must have been apologizing in private chat or something, and he said it's okay in public chat. It looks like uh, this guy, oh, he gets his tires in the grass, and so he's way slow, and then this guy catches up to him. It looks like he tried his best to stay off of him. It's kind of just a bad situation, because this guy's taking the corner all wrong because of getting the tires off, and then this guy's taking it normally, and he just catches him on the exit. That's, that's rough for both of them. Two half mistakes turn into one big mistake, I guess. <laughs> one half mistake is the guy taking the corner wrong and getting the tires off. The other one was uh, the guy taking the corner somewhat normally, but not being able to keep it off the guy that was going slow. Man, all kinds of issues in this corner. It is a tough one. That's what I was saying. That's exactly what I was saying. It's like, it feels like you go through, through there so slow, but if you try to go faster, that's kind of end up, that's how it <laughs> ends up looking. You go end up going off the, off into the grass on exit. Yep. It's a strange corner to get right. Ooh. Whoa, no! The car got light. I want to see, are these cars actually getting off the ground? Let's see if I can find out real quick. Will you be able to see here? No, they're, I don't think they're getting quite off the ground, but they're getting so light. It's causing these issues. It certainly feels like it's coming off the ground, though, when you're driving, because that's how light it gets. Maybe the problem is getting worse as the 
car gets lighter. It's going faster and also, you know, less uh, weights to fight against gravity. So maybe they're it's getting even lighter than it was earlier in the race and some more people are having trouble. The problem corner once again. Lots of similar stuff going on in this corner. Most just mostly just like tiny off tracks though. And that'll be it, so pretty good race. Uh, a little bothered by the fact we got a 4x by a guy that just wants to run into the back of us on the pace lap, but uh, that's ancient history now. They got their 14th, and uh, we got ourselves our top five, which is awesome. A uh, good race. It was pretty fun. A uh, couple weird spots on the track, like the little ramp there, and uh, going back and forth kind of gets the car feeling a little wiggly, but uh, it was a fun one. I enjoy this uh, track. And I've been enjoying this car, too. It's been a lot of fun. So I uh, hope you had fun watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun racing. And I'll see you next time.